Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Joseph Fang. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Taking a look at your forecast on this Friday and seeing pretty much clear blue skies now outside the South Lake Charles Sky Cam. Not much of those thin morning clouds left around. Current temperature is steadily warming up as well. 78 degrees on the cam sensor. Most of the area has gotten out of the 60s north of I-10 into the low to mid 70s, pushing the upper 70s for a few spots along the freeway itself and still in the low 80s if you're down by the coastline, who's starting it off a little bit more humid than everybody else. As for general humidity though, dew points should stay in the 60s for the most part today, back in a muggy range, but that means it will feel drier as temperatures warm up. You can see the humidity is expected to spike up quite a bit as we head into Sunday, and we'll talk more on why in just a moment here. This morning though, not leading to any patchy fog, of course, and that's good news for your morning commute with satellite and radar both running pretty quiet. We did have a couple clouds moving over the area early this morning on the satellite side as uh, some more rain activity much further to the north tries to work down south towards us, but really getting snuffed out by that higher pressure as it tries to and you can see that on water vapor as well at least at the upper level but all that's manifesting is a few thin clouds and even those are clearing out pretty quickly now as for the breeze that's shifting a little bit today just slightly more out of the north for many of us but otherwise roughly the same speed you'll be seeing a few gusts at 10 to 15 miles per hour still but the heat of the day definitely is going to be fueling that sea breeze again the closer you get to the coastline and we're talking about heat here let's take a look at the those temperatures uh, once again in the upper 80s for lunch, but afternoon highs are looking a little hotter today. More of the area is going to be hitting that mid 90s mark with heat indices pushing pretty close to triple digits because it doesn't take too much humidity to get a couple degrees higher at this point. Let's take a look at that on future cast here. A couple straight clouds this morning, but in general, it's another quiet sunny day ahead of us. You can see there's the heat index getting right on 99 degrees for a Ritter in the heart of the afternoon. So just make sure that you're staying hydrated out there. Now the good news is it will be relatively dry or feeling dry for most of us. So if you get in the shade, it should be a little easier to cool off in general. And you might want to consider sunscreen if you're going to be out for several hours. It will be relatively warm into this evening as well. It'll take a while to start truly cooling off. Now as for Saturday, it looks like it'll stick with more of the same pattern as high pressure moves over the area. But by the time we get in the back half of the weekend, it looks like this high pressure will be more on our eastern side. So a southern breeze will be back in the mixture. That's likely to start pulling on some tropical moisture out of the Gulf as well. And that could have our rain chances looking a little better into the start of next week. Let's take a look at those tropics. Still watching the disturbance move just off the southeastern coast of the U.S. That might see a slight chance of some development this weekend. But what we're watching closer is that same broad area of low pressure in the southwestern Gulf. Its chances haven't changed much, but we could still see a tropical system out of this by early next week. Is expected to drift more into Mexico and very southern Texas, though. Shouldn't be in our area, but we could be getting some moisture plume off of it, and that could contribute to some potential for heavy rainfall. We'll be keeping an eye on how that shapes up over the weekend, but for now, you have plenty of sunshine to enjoy outside both today and tomorrow. If you want to get outside to some outdoor events, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. You know, Joseph, I'm impressed.